I need to edit this, though. It runs eight minutes, but I really want it to be much shorter. I'd like to be able to do two minutes, which means I've got to listen to this. I've got to take notes. I've got to... F- Again, life is too short, and there's a very, very useful function inside Premiere, which makes this a lot easier. It's called speech-to-text. It takes the audio of your video and converts it to text that you can read. To do that, let's select the clip. Let's go up to the window menu and display the text window. It's actually up here, and that's what it looks like, text. If I click this transcribe button, what Premiere is going to do is it's going to automatically convert Dan's speech into text in two, one, woof. Adobe takes this audio, uploads it to the cloud, runs it on a cloud server, transcribes it, and sends the text back to me, and the whole process takes just a few seconds. This is a 10-minute clip. It'll take less than 30 seconds to get all those transcripts created. The good news is it's built into Premiere. The only disadvantage is it's going up to the cloud, which can be problematic for people that need to have all of their media kept locally. But this is a cloud-based speech-to-text system. Now here I'm looking at his transcript. I want to have Dan start by talking about what Blackmagic does. So I'm going to highlight the text here and press the delete key and notice that it automatically trimmed the beginning of that clip. And then, so it's a big year for us. I'm going to keep that. And let's get rid of that right there. Highlight it. Hit the delete key. That's gone. Uh, Let's see. Let's get rid of this. Good. And let's get rid of... uh, We'll get rid of this. And we'll just delete from there to the end. Highlight all that text, hit the delete key, and now notice that I have cut that interview to a minute and 59 seconds, which is pure luck because I didn't expect to have it come that close to two minutes. But now I have just the transcript of the edited version of my, of my video. Let's pretend, let's just pretend hypothetically that this video is complete and done. And I want to add captions to it to send it up to YouTube or to send it to a client or broadcast or whatever. I want to have captions. How do I do that? Well, again, with the timeline selected, see that blue box? That means that that window is active. You go up to the caption button as part of the text file. It says no captions are available. I'm going to create the captions from the transcript. Again, click this. And there are lots of caption formats. But the one you want to use is the subtitle default, which is a format called SRT. And we click Create Captions. And instantly, it's converted those, that transcript into captions. Now, it's really important that you understand the difference between a title and a caption. A caption is designed to be turned on or off by the viewer. It's up to them to decide whether they want to display captions or not. And it's also up to the viewer for them to decide how that caption looks. Their their eyesight might be very poor, so they need to make the captions bigger. They may have a contrast problem, so they need to put a black box behind the text. They may have a color problem. They mean to change the color of the caption. The FCC is mandating that captions be controlled by the end user not by you. So your job is to create the caption and get the caption to be accurate and have it appear at the right time. But when it comes to formatting, the formatting is all controlled by the viewer. If you want to make the captions look beautiful to fit with the look of your show, then it has to be a title. Titles are permanent. They cannot be turned on and off. They cannot be changed, but they can look exactly the way that you want them to look for your program. Captions are designed to be controlled by the end user. Titles are designed to be controlled by you. So here's a complete workflow. We imported a clip. We created a transcript. We edited the transcript based upon reading the text, not by listening to the video. We then applied captions, and if we wanted to, we're ready to export it, which is really cool when you think about it. 
This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at the essential workflow inside Adobe Premiere Pro version 25. For the complete version of this training, please visit my store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 375. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers a variety of software, and we update it multiple times each month. For more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks 